If character modeling seems difficult to you, then this video is a gift for you. Because in this video, I will be creating this character in a very simplest and easiest way. So it's completely for beginners or those who are willing to start character modeling. So now let's get started. So I will be showing you step up step so you can follow up with me. So first of all is Blender. Let's just select all with the left click and delete to delete that. And here you will see all the keys that I press. So you can check that maybe if I'm just like missing a single key then you can check it from here okay uh so first of all let's start from the base i always try to create character from like terso so first of all i will be creating the terso from a spare so one spare grab it up like here and first of all what i do is that i create a half of this spare and mirror it because we create a lot of things with mirror so we are only working with one side and the other side is already done so we don't have to work really hard okay so i just right click and make it shade smooth and as you can see our uh, my spare is now mirrored so the first step is to select this point and turn on the proportional editing <coughs> and s to just scale that i will be just making it something like this so it's like making this kind of like egg shape now selecting this point and just moving up upward and scaling it like this so this is the first torso shape uh, of our character now the next step is to create the head so shift s and cursor here jumping cursor here and now here we will be adding the spare so i created this pair just move it up here right click make it shade smooth this seems fine but just a little if you select the front few vertex and move it back with the proportional editing you will get some much much better result and recognizing the face will be just much much easier okay again now let's start from the ears okay so also we need uh, this spare to be mirrored so selecting the half x to delete the vertex and now mirror that I'm just mirroring it with my quick favorite menu but you can just mirror it from here the modifiers so just mirror that and if i go to the edit mode now as you can see it's completely mirrored but it's the clipping should be always on so it don't split in the half okay <coughs> so we will be creating the ears seven for the top view and now i'll be going to the face selection in the edit mode and selecting a few of these uh, faces and x to delete these faces now select this one select these all with alt shift and left click you can see all the keys here and while right click i will be going to the loop tool uh, if you didn't find the loop tool you must go to the preference and search for the loop tool add-on it's an add-on come up with blender by default and it actually convert any of the loop to the circle so i will be creating this loop to the circle so we can actually create the circle uh, uh ears uh, actually yeah extorting that with e something like this and now coming up to the right side view by pressing 3 and just extrude that rotate that from this view and now i will be i would like to just scale that and now e extrude scale rotate I can also see it from the top view so i can do some adjustment like i don't want the loops to be turning to the that direction <coughs> i'm selecting all my loops moving up here now select this one rotate that and now it's time for like uh, finishing it so one more extrude one more and then scale it and then f to fill that if you seems like uh, this needs any adjustment you can just select any of the loop and just making it scale and adjust that but this is how this should be like the base of the ears <laughs> the next thing is to create the feeds we can go with the arms uh, but in this case i would like to come up with the legs so selecting all first and moving up to the up direction so we have some space for uh, our feet so it's the line as you can see this line we will be uh, matching it to this line and now 
we have to just do the same thing that we did for here so again selecting some of the faces and x to delete these faces now coming up here to the loop tool select these right click and make it circle coming up here <laughs> and now e to extrude that something like this scale it with z you can scale z with zero to just make it flight something like this and if you see this kind of weird shading uh, <coughs> just come up here to the normal and click on the auto smooth so we can actually uh, change that you can actually do this thing okay to actually fix that we have to remove these edges because it's not connected to the front so x i'm just dissolving these edges and now come up here to the uh, vertex selection and care to pick up the knife and cut it like this this is the simple and easy solution for it so same thing like here so just select these edges dissolve that now come up here k and keep it like this and this will fix the issue as you can see and now let's continue our character so we are here in this one just come up to the side view e to extrude and z to end the z direction just scale that select this one this one should be a little to the front first because it's the knee and control b to just bevel that something like this so we have the actually the uh, knee shape something like this and now it's time for creating the feet so again coming up to the side view select these vertex just leave the front two vertex and now e to extrude that with the z direction something like here and now select the rest of it and e to extrude that like this e to extrude that with the z direction and now as you can see we have to select these faces f to fill these faces this vertex and f to fill so we have a kind of like feet shape the rest uh, the bottom will be like f fill that selecting these tools these tools and scaling this with the x direction so we don't have any of that kind of like faces surface okay control r and we can just add some loops here and we can move the slide the loop by double g sliding it now s and x to just scale that and now select these tools making it up like this and now it's time for like <coughs> adding the subdivision modifier so we can actually finalize the shape so i'm selecting uh, adding the subdivision modifier with the level up two and come up here as you can see some lot of things need to be adjusted so first of all control r and add a loop here move this surface to the front this surface to the top add a loop here this surface here and from the, uh, from this view let's just select all of these turn on the proportional editing and scale it with like this but the feet seems a little uh, small so we can just increase the size before that i would like to add a loop here scale that now select the rest of our feet and s to scale that move it like this and now select this one move it up here this seems fine now it's time for coming up to the hands so from the side view i can just select these faces x to delete these faces and we already have <coughs> a shape but we can circle that so right click loop circle so it's a smooth circle now and it's time for just like e to extrude that And x and s x and zero to just scale that with zero and we can just add a loop here so we don't get this kind of surface okay uh, one more adjustment i would like is to just make this surface okay it's time for creating the hands so uh, this is an there is an easy, easy method for it so what i would like to do is that one more extrude here so we have the complete hands and now shift and s to just move the cursor here 
<coughs> okay let's just turn off my subdivision surface for a while and it extrude that with the x direction and just scale that with the y direction turn off the uh, actually the proportional editing one more extrude here to the x direction so we have to create three fingers here so double g to just slide this thing so we have some space for that and now with the knife tool i can just click here and here and also from the bottom it will be here and here so now there is space for like three fingers we can actually uh, have one more finger here if we like it so we can just extrude one more uh, one finger from here so we will be having like four fingers and from the side view let's just select these four f to fill select this one and f to fill and f to fill and now select these three and can uh, alt e and then extrude individual faces and just move it here so now every face is a separate finger you see so we have a simple shape for our hand and now it's time to add the subdivision and we can do some adjustment first of all i would like to add one loop here scale that one loop here scale that one loop here and scale that and we can just add one 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 more loop to just like complete the fingers like this The middle finger seems a little thick so we can just select this face control and plus to select more alt s to just decrease the scale and we can move this one a little further so this finger will be a little longer and something like this okay one thing that we can create is that uh, something like this we can just like make it smooth okay this seems fine for now uh, <coughs> the final thing is to create the face so for that I would like to add my eyes here so shift and S to move the, my cursor here shift A and add a circle scale it down <coughs> rotate that with the 90 degree scale that and by clicking coming up to the right side view I can just rotate that rotate that with the Z direction so we have something like this I would like to scale it with the Z direction F to fill that E to extrude that and we can move it toward the body and actually scale that with the Y direction rotate that a little more yeah something like this right click shade smooth and if you see some weird shading you can just fix that with the auto smooth okay we need to mirror the eye so uh, select the eye mirror modifier and select this one and select the middle object to just mirror the eyes okay for the mode I would like to select these uh, all faces and delete that and now select this one and just move that to just make it like this kind of cute circle I can move this one a little down and now select all E to extrude that with the Z direction one one more time and at the end we can just simply fill that and we can add a loop here for just the support and now uh, we can just add the subs, uh, subdivision modifier this seems fine now it's time to add the teeth so the teeth are also circle we can just 
increase the subdivision level for a better result and let's just shift a and add a circle rotate that with the 90 degree scale that move it up here and if you want to add it to the center select the one of the center vertex shift s and cursor to the center select this object shift s and selection to the cursor so it's now in center let's just scale that move it up to the center like this and we can just change the rotation <coughs> select all f to fill that and we can just now adjust it i would like to add it with like scaling it with the z direction and just duplicate that for the down one uh, we can actually add this like uh, simple cube scale it it will be the tongue and we can add a subdivision modifier to it second select that with the scale that with y scale that with x right click make it shade smooth okay so we have the cheek circle here so shift a and adding one more circle rotate that with the 90 degree scale that rotate that i would like to scale that side view we can just rotate that like this go to the edit mode f to fill that and e to extrude that with inside and just make this a little outside right click share smooth fix the uh R to smooth and come up here add a mirror modifier select this one and we actually mirror that now it's time for creating the colors so come up here to the shading first of all i would like to add this color we already have a material so let's just use that i would like to create an reddish orange uh, color to it same for this one let's call this body body color okay this one will be red so i would like to edit red and this will be like this okay this is already white but we can add a white material so later on it will be useful for this one it will be kind of like pink and for this one it's actually black and add a black color like this the final adjustment i would like is to scale the feeds So, so i did some of these changes and it's now looking a lot of lot much much better so hope this video looks good to you if you want to learn more for character modeling you can just subscribe to my channel because here i teach every steps how to go to the character modeling so there is a lot of courses already uploaded so you can watch that uh, in at my youtube channel so thank you much thank you so much and see you in the next video